Hello, you two. Hello, viewers and subscribers. Welcome to the world's largest unidirectional zoom meeting. Just kidding, thankfully. In all seriousness, tonight I'm really excited to tell you more about the Palm Z22 PDA that I've had for almost 20 years now. This was a Christmas gift in 2005. Indeed, this model was released on October 12, 2005. And I keep finding myself coming back to it through the years. What I think is truly impressive is after 20 years of use, it still works perfectly well, it holds a charge, and it has pretty decent battery life. I'll just show you the front and back of it now. This was an entry-level PDA in the Palm Zire series. And it was close to the last of the Zire series. And although it did not have an SD card slot, a Bluetooth, MP3 playback, or some of the fancier features of the Zire series, it does have non-volatile RAM. That I think is I didn't appreciate that when I uh, got it as as a gift. I loved it, but I didn't realize quite how great flash storage was. The ability to hot sync information, applications, pictures, what have you, onto the Z22, and then not have to worry about losing that whenever the uh, battery had to be charged again. Again, this was an entry-level PDA and only had a only had um, infrared, I was about to say only had a mini USB port, it had only mini USB and infrared connectivity, nothing else like Bluetooth or audio output, SD card slot, anything else that you'd even find on the other entry level Zire series PDAs. Just before I do a quick demo, I'll go through some of the specifications for you. The Z22 was released October 12, 2005, replacing the monochrome Zire 21. It was priced at $99 USD. It came with Palm Moss Garnet 5.4.9, that's the latest version of Palm Moss, which wasn't upgradable. Unlike other earlier, I, I don't know about earlier Zires, but earlier Palms, this was not 68K, it was ARM architecture with a 200 megahertz Samsung ARM processor that's 32-bit and implements the ARM version 4T architecture. It has a lithium-ion battery that has a life of about eight hours, depending on usage. It has a, um, let me get that back in view, a little plastic stylus here that's also held up great over many years. You know, this thing is as old as a college student, and it's still working great. I'll get that turned on while I go through a little bit more information. It has 32 megabytes of non-volatile RAM, 20 megabytes of which are available to the user, and 4 megabytes of which are, are a dynamic heap. The display, unfortunately, is not the high-res, the very sexy 320 by 320 pixel display. But despite that, this 160 by 160 STN LCD is a 12-bit color display. It shows up to 4,096 colors per pixel, and it has a really nice color and, and uh, contrast adjustment that you can access from the little uh, graffiti section of the LCD. It's touchscreen, and as I mentioned, the only connectivity are infrared and USB, uh, mini USB in, in particular. Syncing this isn't very very difficult. I, I showed an example of that using JPilot on Linux in a previous video, in addition to that demo of CIC Word Complete. As far as buttons, the power switch is down here on the left. There, instead of having four buttons and a D-pad, there is a, a D-pad and two buttons. The left one, I believe, is, is the uh, tasks or, or calendar-like application. I can show you the uh, monthly view. You can see November 2024 there. And the right side is contacts or the um, address book. Okay. So now 
going back to the the main menu and home screen you can see we can use the d-pad to go up and down and that's also still working all these years and then when I go left and right I can go to different sets of applications we see in this menu up here games main system utilities and unfiled as far as built-in applications what, what another commenter I forget if it was Reddit or YouTube had pointed out was this did include a game called uh, Crazy Daisy Built-in on the non-volatile flash storage where, let's see here, uh, it's sure where, where you have different flowers and you rotate them to get uh, the same color petal to match up. Something like uh, that. But I'll pause that for a second. Go back home. Let's see what other things. I installed a good number of applications. I'm still hoping that I can use a uh, serial connection to, to use this as a terminal emulator with something like PTelnet. Serial options. Yeah, there's a uh, USB console. I think if I use the handspring visor kernel module, I'll be able to, say, connect to a BBS or log in through a Getty within uh, PTelnet. Sorry, for, just forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, using the handspring visor kernel module on Linux, I'll be able to connect this to BBSs or log into a Linux console over mini USB. Let's see what other applications um, in on file. I have Free42 that I'll have to talk about in the future. Red Eye, which lets you print to an HP 82240 82 printer, which I featured in prior videos, and then CIC Word Complete. Let's see here. Looking at the graffiti pad here, there's there's the home button, there's a menu button that's that's typical for Palm devices. We can see how much memory is used up. I have uh, 17 and a half megabytes free of 24.6 megabytes, which is fairly decent. As you can just see from what's shown here, you can see images. You can uh, view images on on the Z22 albeit at low res resolution. Let me see if I can just do a little diversion to that here. Photos. I remember I always thought that was so cool and indeed in Discord I remember using this in uh, Palm DB I think as a profile photo. It was just that cool. There is there is a speaker in here so you do get uh, some some audio as you can see from the game Mic Echo, but you don't get the the sort of, of um, audio output that you you you'd find on on the Zyre seventy two or Palm TX Sony Cleese with more multimedia support that let you play back MP threes and so on. I bet you could play MIDI files on, on, on this though, which I might want to feature in a future video, hint, hint. There you go. Uh, pause. Okay. That's kind of a fun game. I think it's like Simon Says or something like that. There's you know different colors and tones, and then you just have to remember the, the pattern for more and more tones. Uh, if you remember Bop It, that, that game that 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 uh, physical handheld game that people get at Walmart and Target it's it's similar to that that sort of idea let's see what else we have here we have uh, current time you can see it's quite late here in the DC area we have the current cat that's passing back and forth there's this pretty nice display brightness and contrast adjustment can see how nicer that looks at high, relatively high contrast. If I go even further, it's it's probably hard to read, but I think something like five sixths of the way is ideal. Let's see what else we have here. It's just you know a nice compact little device. I put this in my pockets recently. 
and you know I could barely tell that I was there, which is either a really good or really bad thing. You don't have a, uh, you can't connect a physical uh, keyboard. You don't have a connector to point a physical keyboard. But I have used infrared keyboards with this and had fairly good luck, especially uh, for say writing source code, source code, writing fourth source code, and so on. I was able to install a number of different programming languages on here, including Lime, which is like um, Octave or MATLAB. I'll also have to feature in a future video. And, and just the overall point is that it's a really nice device for, for what it is. It's definitely an entry-level Palm, but there's so much you can do with this. It has non-volatile storage. It's super reliable, great battery life, color screen, decent brightness, and everything. And it's you know just nice nice to have this for nostalgia and because as another commenter had pointed out, the personal information management, the PIM suite in Palms is arguably the best that's ever been developed, even now in 2024. And with that, let me see if there's anything else I want to show you really, really quick on this Z22. I think I'll just show you the world clock that I always enjoy. It shows you where there's uh, daylight and where there isn't daylight. There's nighttime as well as the zones in between. And I hope you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and leave comments about your palms, about your Z22s, about anything in the comments down below and have a great one. Take care, everybody.